One of the main reasons that the Alcatraz prison was so effective was that it was surrounded by water. Shark infested water. And perhaps that is the reason there were no confirmed successful escapes from Alcatraz until Sharkfest. Sharkfest offers swimmers a chance to escape from Alcatraz as they tempt fate by swimming across the San Francisco Bay. This challenging swim attracts people from all over the world who each participate for their own unique reason. What we're doing is we're swimming from uh, Alcatraz Island, which is behind me, uh, to San Francisco to raise funds and awareness for the uh, nonprofit Hydrocephalus Association. Hydrocephalus is a condition that about a million Americans suffer from. It's life-threatening and there's no cure. My sister has it. About a year ago, she, she had a really tough hospitalization. We weren't sure if she was going to make it. Um, and my brother and I really wanted to do something to help. And, and we, we weren't doctors, but uh, we knew we could swim really well. This is not an easy swim. It looks it looks calm and, uh, and tranquil, but don't let that fool you. There's uh, there's currents underneath, there's sharks swimming around below, so you gotta, you gotta be on your toes. So I've been told that if I'm attacked by a shark, I'm supposed to punch it in the nose. Um, so that's my plan. I'm gonna punch it in the nose. I was thinking about doing maybe like the Three Stooges a little bit too, you know, and get in, trying to get it in the eyes. You don't have to outswim the shark, you just have to outswim the guy next to you. Right when you jump in the water, it's, it's freezing. Um, it sucks all the air right out of you. Your hands and feet sting. Um, and you think for a few minutes, what am I doing here? <laughs> Why am I doing this? And then, you know, I just think about my sister. She's probably the toughest person I know. And she's in, she's in chronic pain 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. I think about that and that gives me all the motivation I need to, to get to shore. Um, last year, there were four of us that did it. Um, and we've been really excited by the momentum and just sort of the awareness that it's generated and now we have uh, 24 people this year. A few of us have only met once. One of us um, is a doctor in Denver who read about us online and, and contacted me and, and joined the team. So I've actually never even met her, but I still feel close to her, you know, just because this is something that, that I'm so passionate about. I'm warming up now that I'm out of the out of the water. I think it was about 56 this year in the in the water. Um, but yeah, the current and probably the cold was the was the hardest part. Um, this year we've raised $20,000 um, going into the last week, so we've exceeded our goal. It seems like a lot lot more people are becoming aware of hydrocephalus and and what a terrible condition it is. This is Nick Vivian in San Francisco for VJIM TV.